Hello. Hi, is this uh, uh, Kate Lamberg? Daniel? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's it's Daniel. I'm at a doctor's appointment. Right? Oh, oh, hold on just a second. Well, I can... uh, I'm so sorry. I'm gonna have to cut this short. Let me just get out of these stirrups. <clears throat> when I first moved to Chicago, you lived right down the hall from me. You were like, I think apartment like one B, and I was one H. Okay, oh, you have a good memory. <laughs> I, I remember once I was like carrying a thing of milk and you were like, don't spill the milk. And I, I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, no, no. I actually said, don't cry over spilled milk. Yeah. I mean, I, I remember because I wrote about it in my journal. I have never been in the hallway more on purpose <laughs> in my life than when we lived in the same building. That's so funny. If I'm being honest, you know, I, I, I always thought you were kind of cute, you know. Uh, oh, my God. I was like in love with you. Oh. You know, I'm a big journaler, mm -hmm. and I just, uh, I, but I do it in calendars, and, and the years that I lived with you, they were all, saw Daniel today, didn't see Daniel today, the didn't see Daniel days, they were dark days. Well, you know, it was a long time ago, so. Not that long ago, <laughs> it wasn't that long ago. It was, I mean, it was 10 years yeah, ago. Yeah, I mean, I, I just can't believe you're finally asking me out. Oh, well, I mean, I, I was, I was really just called to, to say, say hi. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's see. No, I live in LA. I came here for you. Uh, I'm sorry? I am here. We live in the same zip code. Okay. <laughs> okay. I just realized I have to be at a bris. Uh, I don't know how I forgot. I didn't want to do this. All right, Daniel. Come on out. Come out of your house. My house? Yeah. I'm outside. You can probably hear me. Hello? Oh my God, you're outside. Let's get together and let's talk. Actually, this was <laughs> maybe a little bit of a mistake. Open the door, Daniel. I can't, I'm not gonna open the door. I know for a fact that there's a dog door in the back and I can definitely whittle my way through it. I think actually- Listen here, I I'm gonna talk now, you piece of shit. Oh God. I gave up everything for you, okay? Door. I think maybe the be the best thing to do would be for you to go home and for me to move. Listen, you don't have to talk to me, but can you let me in? Because I do have like the ultrasound goo um, that I could really use a tissue for. Let me see what I can do.